Right, fuckers, welcome back to Son of Scotland 90, and what better way to start off the new year than to bring you a new FIFA 16 career mode series, and this time around, I'm going to be going my favourite team, Heart of Midlothian. You may know in the past, I've done Celtic career modes, I've done Rangers career modes on all our channels, but I've always wanted to do a Hearts career mode. FIFA 15, last time it wasn't possible because they weren't in the game, but this time they are, so I felt the need to do it. I had to do it, and unlike all my other career modes, this one will be getting finished. Towards the end of 2015 wasn't a great year for me and it uh, reflected on my channel past couple of months I've been uploading basically nothing, all my series went downhill, stopped uploading them, probably lost a lot of subscribers but I'm hoping 2016 I'm going to kickstart on with my channel, hopefully I can win back the subscribers I've lost with some good quality content, some good uploads, just changing the stadium near here to Tyne Castle but yeah definitely going to be trying to get at least one video out a day from this stage on so here we go I'm just adding in the European competitions right now we won't be in it but hopefully I think the goal will this year will be to try and get in those European places I think the top four say uh, third and fourth give you a Europa League spot I believe first and second you get a Champions League spot at least the qualification rounds and we're being invited to a pre-season tournament and we're going to take it I think we need some friendlies it's always nice to try and get some extra money Plus, I want to see what the new the players are like, you know, so we'll test them out in these pre-season matches and then that should allow us to see what positions, what areas that we are weak in and who we need to improve on and who we will improve on. And unlike a lot of YouTubers, when they go lesser teams, they try and bring in loan players because they don't have a big transfer budget, but I find that a bit unrealistic, so I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be trying to sign players. I'm not saying I'm never going to bring in a loanee, but most of the players I buy, I'm going to try and sign on a permanent basis, so... Domestic Cup objective, they want us to reach the quarter-final, and that's very doable. Sometimes if you get lucky, you actually start in a quarter-final, so we should be able to do that. As for the league objective, they want us to finish mid-table, and that also very achievable. Anything less than top six, I think, would be shit. But obviously, I, I want to get those European spots, so I am hoping for a top four. I don't see why we can't finish top three. Celtic number are too strong for us, but... You know, the rest are doable, the rest are beatable. I'm going to do a quick squad report here. Show you using the team. We've got Neil Alexander, our best goalkeeper, but he's pretty old, so we might need to replace him. We've got Jack Hamilton, decent keeper. Scott Gallagher, not really going to make it. I think he'll be out the door soon enough. Callum Patterson, probably the best player. I think the highest overall player in our team. He's only 20. This guy could be a real superstar. We've also got Jordan McGee at right back. Decent backup replacement for Patterson, but he can also play centre back, so... You know, right back, we're definitely fine. We've got Liam Smith and all the right back, but I think he'll be getting loaned out or maybe even sold. He's not really been much games. On the centre backs, and we've got August 10, 64 overall, 27 years of age. We've also got Igor Rossi, 65 overall, 26 years old. And Ostuk, this guy's promising. I believe he's got a lot of potential. Try and play him as much as possible. We've only got three centre backs, so we'll try and bring one in. Left back, Oceana. This guy's not good. It's not going to improve much, and we'll need to bring in someone to replace him. Only got one left back, and he's just not going to cut it. But Billy King on the right, 21 year old, 64 overall. But trying to play him. Got Danny Swanson, also a good player, but Billy King will be the man that I want to play here. In the centre, we've got quite a lot of players. We've got, you can see there, Babam, Palarado, Kenny Anderson, Gomez. No one really sticks out. There's not really a star player in there. They're all kind of around about the same level, so. Who knows who'll be getting in. You've got Sam Nicholson and Jamie Walker both on the left. Two really good young players. They'll be fighting for that position. So I don't know who's going to get it. Maybe play, maybe even one of them central or something like that. I don't know. Nathan Flanagan, he'll probably get sold on. We've got El Hasiuni in there. Good player. Could probably play him up front. Got potential. Probably better in real life than he is in this game. Talking about our striking options, we've got Robbie Buchanan. 57 overall, 19 years old. We've got So, Osman So, and Yanma. And these two guys will be competing up front for that striker position. We've got Gavin Riley. Not much to make of him. I think he'll be back up, really. So, going to look into bringing some players. Vladin Yurichenko. I've had this guy in an Ultimate Team Series before. He was really, really good. So, I'm going to put in a bid for him. Also, Garcia from Ferder Bremen. Left back, 19 years of age. And I'm trying to get him in to replace Oceana. Definitely need a left back. Don't know who we'll get, but definitely going to be looking to bring in someone and then you got Abner, another left back, good, he's a contract expiring in 12 months, may get him cheap, but Callum Jones, a centre back, going to inquire about him, scout these guys, 
Kevin Mabubu, 20 years old, will require about him. See, these people, contracts are running out, don't know if the clubs are going to be signing them, so they may be selling them on, on the cheap and we may be able to get them. So, transfer over here for Vladimir Yurichenko, going to offer, let's see, 200. I don't think they'll accept that, but, you know, we'll just start off with 200 and then we'll come back. I'd really like to sign him, hopefully we can get him. Now just looking at some players that we can sell, because like I said, there's a few of these guys that just aren't going to improve, they aren't going to get better. Scott Gallagher, you're one of them. If I can get 50,000 for you, I'd be very happy. You're getting transfer listed. Liam Smith, we'll think him out on loan. But he's only 19 like, so he's got, he's got a chance to improve, but will he improve? I'm not quite sure. Some of these people contracts expiring in 12 months I don't really want to sign them up so I think transfer listing them will actually be the best thing to do Get Kenny Anderson contract expiring soon maybe transfer list him see if I can get something for him before they leave me on a free and yeah this episode basically I'm not going to be playing any matches I'm just going through the team showing you the squad trying to sell some players trying to bring some players in and that's basically what this episode is all about it's not a quick it's not a long episode just a quick short video just to announce this series is up and going and just showing you the squad really and that's about it so just getting some of these guys out here transfer listed the ones with potential I'll just loan them I mean McGurdy 17 years of age 52 overall this guy could maybe turn into a decent player so there's no real need to yeah, there's no real need to sell him move plus we won't get anything for him if I'm being honest. Nathan Flanagan 18 years old I might list that transfer list him I might give him a loan I think I'll loan him He's got potential and then I don't know we've got Danny Swanson there Billy King's definitely gonna be the guy that I'm playing because Danny King's Billy King I mean is going to improve Danny Swanson isn't really Dario Sinetta Canadian at him out. and uh, up front not got a lot of options got Buchanan he's not really going to be starting maybe sell him but really going to be looking to keep Jan Martin so probably keep Gavin Riley as well just for backup just in case something does happen and we need to play him so try to just loan it Buchanan Gavin Riley what will we do with him he's got decent pace so he could always maybe come off the bench as well you know if we're chasing the game we need a goal his pace could maybe create stuff yeah, let's have a look at the uh, table that we got for this in the pre-season tournament. Morecambe, Newport and some team I can't pronounce. We should be able to do well. Tune in next time to see if we can get through this pre-season tournament. See if we can sign the players that we want to. But until then guys, I'm in Scotland 90. Moon the Jambos.